Welcome guys to the next part of the Glory Hercules Street. So now I am Athens, and apparently I'm not welcome in the rich side of Athens, so now I have to walk towards the left to go to the poor side of Athens, and we have to check an event. But before we do that, let's talk to this pig. Okay, best thing he said all day. So Statue of Chorus, as I mentioned earlier, is that Hermes can actually save the game, and which means wrongly, he doesn't say anything about uh, holding down the reset button, but I don't care. So anyway, let's uh, go ahead and see what's inside these tents. And to me there's nothing there, and, and the carrots and all that, that just cures stat elements which is going to be a major player, I believe, during the course of this game. Uh, so I should probably mention the graphics in this game. Now you have to remember too that this came out the first generation of Super Nintendo games, so it's not really not the best. And nothing much to say there. And music, there is some good parts and there's some bad parts. Um, so right now at this point, the story, you're pretty much tra traveling and it's and he tries to cause concern with who is opening up these uh, holes in the ground to cause the monsters to go through. Reminds me of another game though, but I can't uh, remember off the top of the hand, but anyway. So recall my friend supposed to meet him in Athens? Um, somewhere? No, he's not my friend. So no, maybe he's in the poor area, perhaps? Let's see what this old guy has to say. Uh, I may have to go to him later. It's the jail, so let's visit the jail in the poor section of town. Gorton, okay. So boring, and look who's at the north end. Looks like my friend there is, uh... Uh, looks like he's hurt or something there, but uh, we'll get to him later, and we can't open up the jails, and there's no jail key in, in this game, like Dragon Quest or Dragon Warrior series. So, anyway, let's continue on. And I'm seeing a lot of people here. Let's see what they have to say here. Yeah, there's quite a lot of people here to talk to. And it looks like they're pretty much saying the same thing here. Now I have to remember too as well, I'm still by myself so I can take items that I want without being criticized of taking them. So it's, 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 it's okay a bit, so uh, let's go out here, nothing important to see, it just says this little cramp there. And I guess these are the Spartans. And they're pretty much cr uh, cramming in, in this tiny little hell, such as say here. And they're pretty much saying the same thing here. Yeah, so there's nothing really in here. I want to be able to sleep in here. Probably not. Anyway, let's get out here and uh, let's see what this poor side town has to say. Can't go in there because they're in the way. Now look at that, a tower. And look at that, looks like there's something there to jump off to. So, uh, so it looks like they're not gonna let us go to the rich part of town as of yet. So let's climb the tower and, uh, what do you do? Uh, well, it may surprise you. So let's check these, uh, gears here. No. Just pots and nothing there to break, nothing there to take. So let's go ahead and proceed upwards. And there's a ledge, and what do you do when you see a ledge in tower? You jump off. And that's worth that baka point. Yeah, so yes, we, we jump off cliffs. You have to marry people, what they do is send you to jail, because you're a nutcase, or... Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. But I do get to meet my friend. Can't do anything there. Oh, I think that's also worth a pocket point, even though we didn't see it. The pocket jump. 
even though we, even though he mentions it, but we didn't see it. But still, that's definitely worth it. So I got my friend back. Oh, friend, wink, wink. Now we need to get out of jail. Well, let's rest up. And what? What? Where do you come from? Okay, so pretty much he was concerned about our mental stability when we jump off, so we had to sleep it off, and then he's there. Now, once this little thing, uh... I forgot to mention that his armor was actually a lot better than ours, so... Anyway, let's equip some things here. Oh, it's the soothing rod. I... Yeah, I don't think that's... No, I don't believe that's better than the uh, iron I got equipped right now. I think it does a heal, uh, but it has only limited charges, so I'm not too concerned about this since both my kids can heal. So with that event, now this old geezer can talk to us. Or we can talk to him. Ah, okay, so he's actually the king. His poetry got strained it, and the people, or the guards, will not let him through because they don't recognize him. Okay. So now we're stuck with this old geezer, or sorry, the king of Athens. And, uh, we actually have to, uh... We're gonna do some, uh, things here. Oh, okay, that's the castle. But he's not gonna, I don't know, he's not gonna let us in. So there must be a shortcut somewhere that we're able to get in there. Okay, notice on the right hand side there, that's actually a uh, temple. But I just realized since I have an NPC in my party, the king, he's not gonna, he's not gonna allow us to walk in water, so we can't do that. And he's stuck at level 5. And he does the bows. I think he does have herbs if he needs healing. So I'm not really concerned about him at this point. What I'm concerned about is my other friend there, Rion, or, or whatever his name is there. Alright, now skipping ahead, what I have to do next, as insisted by the king, is that I have to go from southwest from Athens, and there should be a little area. And that little area should be a pillar, and with the king on my side, if I sit on the pillar, a secret uh, staircase will be revealed on the ground. And let's go there, and uh, let's see if we get this king here out of our party and get inside the Athens castle. Where he really right belongs.
So it's probably worth mentioning uh, that this area is a little bit different than most areas in the game so far. Um, so you got this dirt um, that seems to be blocking the way towards the goal of the game. Uh, you don't need anything special, but if you run your carriage through it, it will disappear. But of course, if you go up case and down staircase, it will re it will indeed reset. So there, okay, so these are some of the enemies here that I believe I fought. I think there's a few enemies in here that could be tough. And that's where the spirit comes in play. So that way, if I track the enemy, which in this case you saw that it went back, I can use the spear and uh, hit him. And you notice too as well, that my characters can go to the front and rear of the party. Uh, since uh, Rion has some significant hit points and he does have some significant attack power, I will not put him in the back of the party.
Alright, so the king is saved, and now he's back to the throne. So what I'm going to do now is, before I end the video, I'm going to... Actually, before I say anything else, that Eye of the Gods, that's actually what we call your world map, but only very limited. What I mean is, in a certain area, it uh, pretty much shows the places that are available. Um, since that's the only one, I recommend do not get rid of it. I don't think you can, it's a key item. And as well, if you're lost, that will show you where the place that you might want to go. So, I mentioned before, Night Curtain, that's actually your... You can use it as an item and put a whole bunch of group people to sleep. I believe it has charges, which means that you can only use the so many times before it disappears. And before I was interrupted by the Eye of the God, um, so I'm, I'm just going to explore the uh, castle before I end the video. So if there's any problems there, I can go to him and he'll help me out because I helped him out. So let's uh, look around here and see what the people of the Athens Castle has to say.
Alright, so now I'm back into the armor department and I'm going to do some upgrades to my two comrades here. And there's actually there's a vent I have to trigger, uh, but I might want to do, I haven't decided yet, is that I might get some levels for my characters. And I might survive a little bit more despite the king. And because the king's not here, I guess I can go back, or I should be able to cross the water, go to the temple and get some few, few spells for my people. And I'm going to leave the video go, but I'm not going to... In the next video, the next part, there's actually an optional um, way to get a little extra money. Uh, I'm not... I don't think I'll be able... I'm not going to want to do it, but I will show you the first part anyway. And that basically what that is, basically, in a nutshell, is that you get this harp, which I believe I've found. And you can do is, you can do like a Simon Says mini game here. And once you complete it, you go to the next part and the next part. And you can actually play on stage and you can get a few coins. Uh, well, I'm basically just going to show you the first part of it. I do not think there's actually a pattern to it, as far as I recall, but anyway, I'll let the video go. I'm going to do some upgrades, uh, trigger some events, and uh, perhaps Hercules will be uh, in my priority next part. We'll have to see what happens. And hopefully he's strong, so that uh, I can demolish enemies in one hit, just like uh, Lord Hercules 2. So, let's wait until you 4, I'll leave, leave the video go, and I'll uh, see you next time. Take care. Thank you. 